Okay, don't get this kind of question strong on the test. Here we have the function f of x is equal to 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 1. And we're going to find out f with this notation, and inside here we have 4. First common mistake. If you put a 4 inside this x and say, we get 3 plus the square root of 2 times 4, and then plus 1. And if you work this out, you get 6. But no, this is not correct. You don't even get partial credit for this. Because look, there are two different things. This right here is the inverse of f. Alright? Here's another common mistake. When you see this, f with a negative 1 right here, if you write it as 1 over f of 4, just because we know that, for example, 5 to a negative 1 power is 1 over 5, right? It's just a reciprocal. But unfortunately, that only works for numbers and also variables. When we have functions, it does not work like this. Because the idea behind the original function and also the inverse function is that the x and y get switched. Or another way to look at it is, if you compose them, you get the original x back. I will demonstrate two ways to do this. Check this out. First way, it's slightly more conceptual. Right here, originally we have x, and the output is f of x, and usually we can say that's equal to y. And again, the idea behind original and the inverse is that the x and y get switched. Originally here, inside the input x, and then the whole thing, the output is y. But now, when we have the inverse, the inside here, it's actually the y, so we are given that y is equal to 4. And then the whole thing, the output in this case, is the x. And we don't know what x is. So with this idea in mind, we can put a 4 into this y right here and say 4 is equal to 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 1. And we just have to solve for x from here and then we'll be done. Let's make that happen. Minus 3 on both sides, we get 1 is equal to the square root of 2x plus 1. And then square both sides. I know some of you guys know the answer is 1 or it's 0 already, but let me solve everything for you guys. 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. This and that cancel out nicely. And then minus 1 on both sides, we get 2x equals 0, and then x equals 0. But I'm not going to box x is equal to 0, because the question is asking us for this f inverse and here it says 4. It puts this notation. So I will write that right here. The inverse of f of 4 is equal to this number, which is 0. So this right here is how I'm going to present the answer. Now the second method is just that we are going to write an expression for the inverse of f of x, and then we're just plugging 4 in there. So check this out. Second method. To find f inverse, step 1. We look at this and then just write y for f of x. So we write y is equal to 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 1. Step 2. We are going to switch x and y. So that means here is the y, now it's going to be the x. And then we have 3 plus the square root of 2. Here is the x, now it's going to be the y plus 1 switch x and y. Again, that's the idea. And some other books might tell you to just isolate the x and then at the end you call that to be the inverse notation. That's fine too, in my opinion. But we'll do it this way. Now, after we switch the x and y, right? It was y, now it's x. It was x, now it's y. We are going to solve for this y, aka isolate it. So, subtract 3 on both sides and then we will just have the square root of 2y plus 1. Let's write that down first and then minus 3 on both sides, we get x minus 3. Okay, take the second power on both sides, cancel this. We have 2x, sorry, 2y plus 1 equals, I'm not going to multiply this out, I will just leave it, x plus, sorry, x minus 3 square. And then I will minus the 1 on both sides, so 2y equals, let me write it as parentheses, x minus 3 square minus 1, and lastly, I'll divide both sides by 2. I'll just write it as the whole entire thing divided by 2. So we can get the y by itself. And this y is exactly f inverse of x. And it's just a notation thing. Right here at the end, we are still using x for the notation, for the input. But you have to remember, in connection with the original, this number inside, just like what we had earlier, 
it was the Y value of the original, but we still use X for it. All right, so with this notation, we get the X minus three squared minus one all over two. Now we have this. The question is asking us for F inverse of four. So of course we can just plug in the four into here, not here, all right, not the original. So ladies and gentlemen, put a four in there, we get F, inverse of 4 being equal to 4 minus 3 square minus 1 all over 2. This is 1, square is 1, minus 1 is 0, 0 over 2, the result is equal to 0. Right? So, of course, same answer. Which method do you guys like more? Let me know.